Okay guys, welcome back. I uh, want to make a video and talk about the tillage decisions that I am making. So, the tillage decisions you make in the spring are, are really the most important decisions you will make uh, to have success as an organic farmer. So what I am doing today is I am field cultivating a field. Uh, why am I doing that and what's going on in this field? So this is a corn field. Uh, it will go into beans this year. Uh, the other portion of this bottom, there's a the point there down next to the river. That was bean ground and that will go into corn. And so all of this bottom ground was worked one time with the disc. Uh, it was the first week of April, might have been like the 10th or the 11th. Uh, but uh, I posted a video of working the ground in the spring, disking and chiseling. And that, that little interval there was when I was able to get out and get everything worked up. So this field had one disc pass on it. And now here we are back May 2nd. And uh, I am field cultivating. I am not planting. So what has gone on between now and then? We've had several inches of rain. You can see from the dark color out there that there's plenty of moisture in the ground. Uh, if we look down at the ground, I would be outside filming, but it's awful windy today. You can see the husks there quivering in the wind. We have another nice little flush of weeds. And uh, the weatherman is saying next week there are chances of rain throughout the whole week and the temperature is going to drop uh, relatively you know with highs in the mid 60s next week and so it's really not corn planting time or bean planting time yet uh, but I am out here doing the second tillage pass of the year I am field cultivating uh, the first pass was disking and you can see uh, it doesn't really show in the video, but the surface is irregular. Uh, you can still see ridges there from the disc. So I'm out here with the field cultivator, and I am going to do what I jokingly call uh, recreational tillage, and that is another pass across the field. Uh, that pass will serve a couple purposes. We're taking out the flush of weeds. That's very important. We're leveling the field after having dissed it. That is important. Uh, it will continue to warm the soil. So the soil has not really warmed or, or turned for the year. You can tell that when you work in the soil here. Uh, the microbial activity is not kicked into high gear. And so this tillage will stimulate and warm this soil uh, more. Uh, a bunch of my conventional neighbors got out uh, in that same window that I was doing tillage, they planted corn and uh, you know, we're at day 21 and you cannot even grow that corn yet. I think yesterday I saw some of the first corn spiked through that I had seen of the year uh, that went into that first planting interval. And so organically, you know, the corn cannot play around like that. It needs to get up and through the soil. And so the soil needs warmth and biological activity. And so we have 80 degree days. We had one yesterday. We have another one again today. Uh, so I'm coming out here and I'm working relatively very shallow. We're running somewhere between two inches and three inches deep. And we're moving fast and we're doing a relatively shallow pass and that will keep this field in condition. Uh, here in Kansas, we always have to think about moisture. There way over on the road is a seed container going out. Conventional neighbors, I think they've pretty much finished, almost finished with corn and they're switching to beans. But anyway, I have to manage moisture and so it could stay cool and dry next week and I want to preserve the option of being able to come out here and do one more pass and then go deep for moisture. Uh, the things that we always struggle with is burning moisture or conserving moisture because we cannot project what's going to happen in the future. Is it going to go into a dry trend or is it going to go into a wet trend? 
And so when I'm out here doing what I'm doing today, I want to run relatively shallow. I want to level the seed bed. I want to stimulate the seed bed. I want to warm the seed bed and I want to take out that flush of weeds. So more recreational tillage. Uh, the reason I'm jokingly calling it recreational tillage, the other reason is that if we had went into a warm, dry trend, I could have been out here and field cultivating and planting right now. Uh, but the way it looks right now, it's going to stay a little bit cooler than average and a little bit wetter than average. So uh, final point is that you really don't want to work right ahead of a rain. So it's early in the morning. There's a small chance of rain tonight and then uh, it's Friday. So the first of next week, there are more chances of rain. So I want to work this seed bed and give it, you know, at least half a day and hopefully a day or two to dry before the rain comes. Anyway, Another tillage video guys, thanks for watching.